Hey guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to a new video. So this is my favorite monthly makeup look. So, um, I think I'm going to list everything that I use down below. So do feel free to check that out. Um, I think I'm going to also freestyle this voiceover. So let's see how this goes. But basically, I wanted to create a new concept or way of doing my monthly favorites I completely neglected that last year so this year I feel like um, I might just start doing a monthly makeup look using the products that I've been using for that month and as for skincare I kind of have my own skincare routine now using the same products so I don't really have much to share when it comes to new monthly skincare favorites so I think I will be sticking to doing some or doing more of my monthly favorites based on makeup products so I hope these guys don't mind but um yeah I mean this whole makeup look is pretty much similar to how I would do my makeup on a daily of course so in terms of technique or the style of makeup I'm wearing it's pretty basic um, but I will also try my best to feature new or different products every month so it's not too repetitive and um, yeah this part I totally mess up and fail on contouring my nose with this liquid contour <laughs> oh my gosh um, but yeah a lot of these products I have made I probably have featured on my channel or in some I might haven't yet so man I don't know how to like apologize but I do know I have a lot of videos um, backed up and that needs to be uploaded but um your girl got really lazy and busy towards the end of the year so I broke that promise again to upload regularly <laughs> but um I'm telling you I'm no I'm not gonna make any more promises I don't trust myself anymore but um here. This part is pretty boring. I'm just blending out the contour. For me, I tend to leave my concealer, um, what is it, lost to blend. I kind of want it to set and be a little bit more full coverage on my under eyes specifically because my dark circles are pretty obvious so I do try my best to conceal them without you know covering it too much that doesn't make sense but um specifically this powder the Innisfree no sebum mineral powder the moisture powder this is an empty so I've only had this for like less than six months i'm pretty sure and i've used it up and this powder is another favorite of mine this is by etrude house i'm obsessed with this powder so you might see that product quite frequently in my videos because i love it and i did travel with it during december and january so i really like this powder a lot Um, I'm not sure how I will do these voiceovers, if I will talk about the products individually or I will just do these random voiceovers, but um, yeah, I mean, this brow product, oh no, it's actually a hair shadow, but these guys have seen this a lot. This is probably my most favorite eyebrow, technically eyebrow product that I've been using. Um, I just enjoy using powders on my brows. It's a lot more easier, natural, yet 
pretty well defined so um, that has been my go-to in terms of my brow makeup oh what else do I say um, this part's pretty long but honestly it takes me less than five minutes to do my brows and I use the same product to contour my nose um, thankfully I was able to blend out that contour failure earlier but um onto the eyeshadow here this entire month for February I just kept my makeup so simple just two shadows this lilac-y lilac kind of glitter shimmer and a how would I describe this? Like a brown, purple, plummy color on the outer parts of my eyes. And it's like the most basic, simple yet effortless kind of makeup look. And no surprise there, I hate doing eyeshadow on my eyes. But blending out the crease part makes the whole look well put together. And yeah, it just looks like I put a lot of effort when clearly I didn't. Blending is just the key for this entire makeup look. Um, I'm, I'm brushing off the powder that I was using to bake my under eyes. And I'll be using the exact same brown purple plum shade on the outer corners of my bottom lash line just to create some definition I should be doing that soon right after this clip <laughs> oh my gosh just voiceovers like all over the place um yeah mascara I don't really have a k-beauty mascara favorite right now um so I've been just sticking to my trusty Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. Um, for the blush, this one's different. It's a Filipino um, branded makeup. And I've just been obsessed with purple um, for this entire month. So I have been going for very plummy tones. And for highlighter, I'm not a big highlighter fan, but this is one of my favorite highlighting products in my collection. It's very natural, it's not too chunky in texture, it's very fine, and it does look very effortless. I love the packaging of this, it's like a mini cushion, so applying this and using it is so easy, and I'm also... I've also been highlighting the inner corners of my eyes lately, which is very different. I don't really do that often, but for February I have. And for lipstick, I'm almost done with this, but it's really my favorite lipstick for the year, even for 2019. So I do want to get more of these Cleo Rouge Heel Velvet lipsticks. They're so good. Um, they're not very long lasting but I do love it overall so I don't mind retouching it during the day while wearing it and um surprise oh yeah if you guys didn't know my hair is bleached and it's kind of oh it's a brassy brown right now but I'm gonna tone it eventually <laughs> and I also gave myself a fringe um, I trimmed my bangs and I almost forgot my favorite setting sprays by Too Cool for School. I've been obsessed with this. Um, and yeah, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!